My parents always say we are Taiwanese. My parents think they are, they are Japanese. They are educated. They were born in Japanese era. They were educated in, in Japanese. Uh, so they, they don't think they are Chinese. But they dare not to say that. They know that there may be some consequences. So they try to stay silent. But interesting part of this is uh, my wife is the same. When we grew up, my parents would speak with themselves in Japanese. They would hide, you know, certain things, not up for us to know. Taiwan has a I thought I was a good student and follow everything. That's a Jiang Zhongtong. Jiang Jie is all the Jiang Zhongtong. It's a, it's a President Chiang. He was a, supposed to be the hero of, of the China, especially in the Civil War. Of course, uh, in, in that time, communist is a one er gong fei. That's what we learned from the school. Every time when we wrote down some composition, we always have to end it with, we have to uh, conquer the uh, one er gong fei, and then uh, uh, this kind of things to, to end our composition. Yeah. Now, uh, so I never thought I was Chinese when I was a kid. But when you go to school, they continue to brainwash you. You know, you're Chinese, uh, we have great country, big history. And so I have to say, before I left for the United States, I think I was Chinese. I thought I was a Chinese. in 1979, the other student organizations in the United States are Chinese student organizations. Uh, we, those people who think they are Taiwanese want to have a Taiwan study or Taiwan student or Taiwanese student organization. The KMT groups came to our funding day. They, one guy brought a baseball uh, back and jump on the deck, say, you guys are all Taiwan independent supporters. Why will destroy you? <laughs> I will kill you. So we have a lot of conflict like that in school, the Taiwanese group and the Chinese group. The Chinese is real Taiwanese, actually. But through that kind of conflict, more people become realized that they are really Taiwanese. I mean, I was 我们整个房子都是住台湾来的然后呢我们那时候有一个跟体育系的住在一起我们每一天都去操场跑五千公尺这样子就训练身体这样但是有一阵子忽然间围墙外面都是那个台湾来的学生都在每一天我们去都有人
It happens the the PO box was closed. He didn't know that. The letter was returned to North Carolina to the state government. So when the state government is the engineer uh, department, when they opened it, they saw the Chinese character, and they didn't know what was going on. It happened to be there was a Taiwanese uh, working in the department. So they just take, send it to him and say, do you know anything? And it's a report from a student in North Carolina State reporting student activities on campus. 真正确定是黑名单，当然是要申请啊回去台湾的时候，到了家里面，比如说像我父亲生病啊，或者过世啊，都不能回去。那时候才就是觉得才深深的感受那一种啊黑名单的那个缺乏人性。那申请回去台湾的时候，他就不给我护照加签。那我问他说：“为什么？”他就说：“你自己知道啊。”他免得回答就是这样，他也不跟你讲，他就说：“You know yourself。” On that time, I didn't. I didn't go back to Taiwan for so many years. I, I was afraid, actually. Uh, Chen Wencheng uh, went back to Taiwan to sh show, his, uh, pa show his family for his, their son, a newborn son. And he was, uh, he was a murderer. And uh, he was a professor at the Carnegie Mellon. Uh, he's assistant professor there. He was a young professor. Actually, the, the martial law was left in 1987. The Xingpao Yi left in 1992, I think. I, I, I was also able to go, go back to Taiwan without any problem after that. Uh, so we went back to Taiwan 1995 together um, with kids. They were about four years old. Uh, so with my wife, so we went back to Taiwan. So that was the first time after like 16 years, right? 那總共快要十八年不能回去這樣 So there was a, a long time that until that year 2000 when Chen Shui-bian really won the election by surprise people feel like there's a, there's a hope so young people sort of get more involved The big hope for Taiwan now after the Sunflower Movement and the, this young generation because they are, uh, the pure love of Taiwan it's so pure, nothing to do with uh, a horror, hatred. Like in my generation, we have a little hatred against the KMT. So, basically, this is the way it is.